Welcome back to Crossfire Stars 2016 in Shuju, China. This is Sojung. We have Matt and Joshua. And this is Sojung. And again, as a neutral analyst, I am it's very neutral. sad. Sad to see my hometown country team lose like this. But you know, Matt, I know you have something to say of again course. about yeah. this. You, yet you again. say your hometown, but you, you have yeah, adopted. I, I have changed my home there. country. Whoops. And to be honest, yeah, why not? Why, why not? not? Why we not? Were, we were talking at halftime in that game, hidden against Insane. Koreans, your team was 7 2 up. This is already healthy. I came out and was like, have you seen that 7 2 up? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eight rounds in a row. Nobody loses so. eight rounds in a row. That, I mean, that's a really hard thing, but that shows, doesn't it, Joshua? Yes. So teams can approach offense and defense with very different plans. I mean, this says a lot about the map itself. Uh, defense on both sides were pretty weak. However, it did look like Hidden had some momentum going into it in the first half. In the first half, they got the first win, and up uh, first three wins. And then we got to see momentum switch over to Insane getting two, and then uh, Korea stopped it right there. It was a battle between snipers, Maestro versus Asuka, and Maestro getting incredible picks in the first half on the offense. Now, at this point, we thought Korea was going to run away with it, but it turned around, and in the last round, actually, of the first half, Maestro switched to AK, and they went for a push. They went aggressive. That's what I thought they would do, and I expected them to try it out, and it worked for that round. Now, they went aggressive again in the second half, and it backfired on them, and that just gave the momentum away to Insane's. Asuka getting, like, 15 kills in that last half. It was amazing, and... One thing I'd say about Korea is they had no idea what they were doing on defense. Uh, they, they were being a little bit too aggressive, they were getting a little bit too emotional, but not in a good way. And now, Matt, I know you have been jumping again all over the place to find out about what has been going on in yeah. Stage B. Let us know what happened in they Stage They won't let B. me sit still. That's what it is. But that's okay, because we've got this great <laughs> stadium and I like exploring it. And having a look around at what's going on in the other the other battles yeah. as well is, is great because it gives you a chance to see what the players right. are thinking of what's going on too. Right. Um, so we know we have an all Chinese game coming up. It's going to be VG against AG, your new your new family. Um, yeah, AG beating RU Legends in the first of our rematches. We've actually got right. due to the way the draw worked out when we did the tournament draw and the the winners of each group chose balls at random to change the order they would pick. Then they chose balls to choose their opponents. We did it all in a completely fair way. The way it's worked out, we have three rematches. Right. Every group, we're having a rematch. Are you legends against AG? That's just gone the other way. That's just gone to AG. Uh, flip side tactics, they're going to be playing Freedom Gaming uh, very, very shortly with us here on uh, stage A. That's a rematch of the opening game group B. And we're going to have Pacific Wara playing uh, Insane after they beat your team. Um, that's going to come up as well. It's just the way it's worked out. Which means that there are some teams here who we're saying goodbye to. As and, and there's a real kind of difference between some teams turning up and doing really well, some teams having a bad start and recovering. And then XCN, they're going to be going. Team WoW are devastated. I've seen the guys. Been chatting to a couple of the guys. I was chatting to Juice. He is very upset with how they right. Well, I mean, like, the positive of it is uh, it, it shows that they care. They care yeah. so much about the results, and right. they're definitely going to show up next year, I hope. Yeah, 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 we want to see them. We definitely want to see them. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's getting to halfway through the weekend, this three-day weekend we're having. Yep. We're getting to it's halfway through two. the finals. It's, like, who's, who's going to stick this thing out? We're starting to see teams fall by the wayside as we go. And before we go in there, we have our perfect analyst, and I've been dying to ask this. Who is our MVP going to be? Josh? On, Josh. This, is, this is hard Josh. to say because of the Josh, uh, switch in performances, but the result is going to be Asuka. Asuka, so Asuka. now, who He's is our MVP? Way. Take it away. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed Asuka as the MVP. I don't think too much of a surprise there. He dominated on the attacking side for Insane. 17 and 10 overall. Not too many headshots, but it doesn't really matter when you're using a sniper. It's a one-shot kill no matter where you hit. Yep, one shot, one kill. And he, in fact, got one multi-kill along with that as well. But uh, rightly said by Joshua there, is the MVP for that game. But of course, that was Insane's versus Hidden. Insane's live another day. Here are some of the highlights for that. 
Uh, Suka doing some absolute damage on that map. But up after this, we've got Flipside versus Freedom. Just the Suka dominating. That was the uh, cheeky no scope, quick quick scope he did there. Of course, it is 100% accuracy no matter whether you're using the scope or not. So, solid stuff. Many multi kills. You say many, it was the one, but you saw him in the rounds getting two or three per round. Great stuff all round um, from Insanes, but in particular, Asuko. Of course, the MVP, you'll be happy with it, but more importantly, he gets the win. He'll be happy with the, the win. Tournament. You know, eight rounds back to back, that's what you want to do. But now we're moving on. And as uh, Matt just pointed out, it is another rematch, of course. Uh, it's no surprise when they're in the same group. And uh, you tend to see these quite a lot. But Freedom Gaming from uh, uh, Vietnam. Yes. Somewhat of a surprise. They beat Boss in the finals, in the national finals in Vietnam. Boss, of course, were in Manila. Uh, up against Flipside. Flipside Tactics from Europe. The team that we saw obviously qualifying the national finals. We covered that game against Penta. Big match. All five maps were required. A real climactic finish for them. And there they are. Flip side. We've been talking to them all event long. They're, I wouldn't say confident. Dennis there on the left there. Not too confident overall. There's Vice. Seven in the middle. Let's see whether he's going to be rocking that sniper today. Of course. Confident, confident play overall from these guys. And FaZe, of course, I wouldn't say new man, because he's been there quite a while now. <laughs> but, he was, but he was technically the new man this year. New in the squad, uh, but definitely not in experience. Seven, Vise, FaZe, Dennis, and Snox, representing Flipside Tactics from Europe. Of course, uh, we obviously have our regionals going through, but it's where we're from. We're uh, actually from, I mean, these guys coming from Germany. That's where we're living at the moment. That's where we're staying. We're not German ourselves, but uh, we do definitely... Good talk. <laughs> we definitely get to speak to these a little bit more uh, than some of these, uh, you know, Latin America, American Asian teams as well. How's uh, your German going, by the way? Absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's good then. My, my mind's no better. That's <laughs> all right. FaZe, of course, as I say, the new man joining, obviously, this year. Formerly, uh, it was really Penta, wasn't he, last year, I think. Um, of course, Dennis. We talked to him earlier. He's not that confident right now. He didn't feel he did that well yesterday. So we'll see whether he improves. Snox was dominant in game number one. And that was, of course, against Freedom Gaming. So let's see if he can do the same once again. He certainly performed in that match. But of course, their opponents obviously are the Vietnamese number one team currently. Europe. It is a big region that has done obviously predominantly well here. Penta finishing second last year. A lot to live up to for Flipside, of course, having taken down Penta in those regional finals. But Freedom Gaming, they've already played once and beaten them 10-7. Can they do it again? Because Freedom Gaming has certainly gone on revenge here. The big man for them, Rambo, has been a dominant force. And you just got to wonder, you know, what colour could the rest of the team come with their hair? I mean, I he, he, he could have died. He could have made an effort. He could have made an effort. Look at, look at the hairstyle he's got going on there. He could have died it. That would look good in blue. Good blue, in blue. Blue. So they could have had red, white, and blue. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know, put it out there. Maybe they're going to yell at yeah, the full uh, Vietnamese star going on. But Rambo, the sniper. Potcon's also going to be rocking the sniper now and again. But Rambo's the main man, certainly for the team. There he is. He's one to watch on the sniper. Certainly will be jumping on board with Rambo. Performing throughout the weekend. It's a really weird name for a Vietnamese guy to have Rambo. I've got to be yeah. honest, it feels <laughs> a bit strange for me. But Potcon's as <laughs> the sniper, the man with the red hair. And of course, Maxim, the blondie. I don't think he's a natural, got to be honest. Yeah, I've got to say, uh, it stands out in the crowd though. And hopefully his gameplay will as well. He'll be positioned back up. One of the attackers is Kukon. And of course, a couple of seconds, a third there. I'm sure he'll be wanting to bag himself the big number one here. Obviously $200,000 goes to that winner. And finally, Bean. He'll be uh, one of the attackers as well. Likes to flip things between the M4 and the AK. See how he does in this game, of course. All eyes on Rambo, but it is a team game. We saw that in the previous one. Let's see if they can live up to obviously the reputation. Yeah, I'm looking forward to se seven versus Rambo. It's going to be a, a good old duel. We'll see whether it works out. Of course, the map is going to be sub base. So, one that snipers can work well on. And one we haven't seen. One we haven't from, seen so far, yeah. View. 
Yeah. It's it, well, it's the first time I think they haven't it on. Obviously, it was uh, pre-picked a map coming into this one. Of course, all loser bracket finals will be on sub base. There's the big trophy. They're all playing for, but one of these teams is going to be going home at the end of this match. And as I say, we will be moving into sub base. It was just played the first time, I think, uh, All Gamers versus RU Legends just played a moment ago. Of course, we're going to see here the first time on stage A. And of course, these are the routes are going to take. A tends to be predominantly pretty heavy hit. And of course, this is the very direct route. You're going to be taking fire from Sniper's Nest there, which is what we're about to see here. I believe, no, no, yeah, there we go. Just turn right eventually. <laughs> Get through the doors. Maybe and of course, the flank. into there. We've seen some pretty big action. And there's actually a vent room uh, just before. It didn't show it there as the camera panned through, but that can be a big hit. You can see the, the dotted lines on the minimap there, where you will sometimes see the defenders actually coming back through on the retake. This is the straight run into B site. This is a tricky run. We've seen even in Manila absolutely dominating in that room. They just passed on by, wrecking them. And of course, they're going to drop on by. Not really sure we're going to see too many people taking that direct route like that, but we will certainly see this route. This is going to be the most common one. Uh, tell a lie. I was expecting to go through and go left. But, uh, I was expecting the this same. This is the route that actually the, uh, we will very rarely see. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, it's easy to say it's through the middle technically, but a lot of uh, back and forth through the vents and areas where you're going to be going through very close quarters and easily picked off. So you're not going to see that one too much. But. This is a rematch. These did play just yesterday. Flipside came out on tack. That was 10 to 7. I believe uh, it wasn't on sub base. I believe it is a different map that they'll be playing on today. Um, 7 looks to me just like uh, Valataja. Or Valataya, I've been told to say it now, actually, apparently. One of those players that, like, we've cast him for many years and got angry, apparently, at the way it was said. It's like, but it's like well, why didn't you say something? <laughs> for about the, the five or six years that we've been casting. In fact, more than that, it's been about 10 years he's been around, but he needs to be known as Reload. Kiss to the crowd coming out. We'll see whether it's going to be happy smiles and kisses at the end or whether it's going to be sad tears because one of these will be ending early. Baby in the crowd. Maybe a future sure he must be joining. Yeah, future Crossfire Stars 2.0 maybe on the cards for him. Who knows? When it all goes down, are you ready? That's the question. I am ready, and you know what? That music gets me hyped every time. <laughs> I, I, I get my boogie on, I start dancing, and then I realize it's time to play some CFS, and it's all for that. The and big then, trophy, which don't get me wrong, I would love to... Uh, well, we missed the first kill. It was Rambo taking down Vice. I was hoping we'd get to see it, but we're a little slow going in there. And uh, b site is completely wide open, by the way. Flipside Tactics got four stacks. Three in Sniper, one down in the bottom of A. And the bomb, we can see, is making its way to B, and it is completely undefended. Okay, well, heavy stacked. You think one would rotate? Okay, there we go. Now they're rotating. They're just like, yeah, we don't really want to challenge out Rambo. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, ah. Oh, hello. Cheeky grenade coming in. It's going to damage Maxim as well. It was, in fact, Seven, who's on the rotate for flip side. However, still a heavy stack. We've got three defending A, and... It's going to be difficult for he's seven. He's up against these three. Yeah, he doesn't realize there's one already in the room with him. Maybe he does. The speed and slowness is going, but Rambo with that scope. Seven up close with the AK. Will he be able to find him early on? Yes, he will. He's just going to run him down. What in the hell just happened? How did Rambo come out on top in that duel? This is only going to go Freedom's way. This has gone horrifically wrong. FaZe is going to be using the sniper this time around. Gets himself a quick double. But now it's a one on three. And Dennis... Wasn't feeling confident yesterday in a one on three already. How did Seven lose that duel? The interesting thing as well is, yes, Dennis is in a 1v1, but the other two players are nowhere to be seen here. So if he can take down Kukon, he might have had a bit of a chance. He damages him, tags him up. Will he get the frag? Oh, my goodness. Look at the health on Kukon. Finally survives there, but Dennis taken out by his teammate. First round on the board. That goes to Freedom. Flipside will have to reset. This, of course, is the defensive side for Freedom. They're going to go for a 4-1 stack. Very similar to round number one. Yeah, this does tend to be uh, uh, favor the attacker somewhat. I'm not 
the greatest or easiest of maps to defend because it's so widespread. It's such a long journey from A to B. And of course, you can divide the team fairly easily here. Freedom on the push once again. Grenade comes through. And that's really why a lot of teams favor sub base. It is one of those maps where you can ping those nades off the wall and do a heck of a lot of damage. We just saw Bean and Maxim taking it full on in the face there. But now they're going to make their way through. Snox is the man down at the submarine. I like his positioning, positioning there, just crouching so he can't be seen on the entrance, but may get a bit of an angle for him. The bomb seems to be rotating to the B side, and this time it's going to be Vise all alone defending Ooh. for him. Rambo, a man on a mission. Rattling off the shot through the smoke. Got to be careful he doesn't get caught by that through the stairwell. Rambo pushes forward, looking for those picks. He's the man that puts this team on his back quite often as he makes his way through. Vise pops through, gets a good amount of damage down onto Kukon on there, in and out. Damage done, backs away, keeps himself covered, and more importantly, he got some vision. So he has the support that he needs. It's phase that starts to come around. And the rotate does seem to be coming in. The bomb going over towards A. A minute left on the clock here. And again, he hasn't moved. It's Snox down there at A. You could find Maximum Bean in a bit of trouble here. Maximum has to check this corner. He does. It's clear. They're making the entrance now. And now they've been spotted. It's going to go down. Snox going to get the better of him. Bean answers back onto seven. Snox is very, very low. And he does finally go down. The oh, kill phase. comes in for Faze. Just picked a double, double kill there. Seven got taken down in Sniper. And Faze pops through with the Deagle because he's using the Sniper himself. Picks up a quick double. And now the bomb's rotating all the way over to B side. So it's a three on two, but the bomb will get planted before they make it there. Or will it? Because he's on the rotate and he may actually get caught in the back here. No. They've chose to go the other way. They're going through double doors, so they're going to go through spawn instead. Both phase and vise and go for the retake from the far right side. Now this is obviously buying a lot of time for Freedom Gaming. They have to get moving here. It's phase that's going the long way around. He's switched out to an AK. And it's Vise that's going to be challenging out Kukon here in just a moment. Two versus three here. Very low is Kukon. He sees one. He spots him. He tries to get him, but Rambo saves the day with his third kill of the day. FaZe is coming in behind right now. Rambo's going to be in a position to challenge him, but FaZe finds him. Okay, so down to a one on two, but they've got to get the bomb. They have to get it down. Ten seconds on the clock. They should just be able to find the defuse. They have got it in time. Yes, they will. And flip side, get the defuse in. So, one apiece. But as you can see, this is a tense, tense game. Seven on your screen there. Losing out in sniping us really early on, but FaZe with the double deagle, really turned that round on his head. So, after two rounds, it's one apiece here, and we're going to see just a little hop up. Thought he was going in, but he's not. Faze just taking his time. There he is. Finds his way in. He's gone with the sniper as well. Sometimes a questionable play to lead with the sniper, but it can be that open up, opening pick. Bit of a slower attack here coming in from Freedom. Bomb's been dropped towards the middle, and now just trying to find one. That's, of course, FaZe in the vents. He's Five francs for FaZe already. Share. Great stuff so far for FaZe, and he's come with the sniper. I mean, he was the man that came in as, like, the superstar of his team and then had his bounce problems, remember, in the uh, national finals. <laughs> this time around, no such problems. Looking confident, opening up the account here. Freedom Gaming looking for picks right now, spread across the map, trying to find themselves. It's FaZe that's holding this vent angle, though. And this might be where they're about to challenge out. I think I can see one about to come this way. It's Botcons straight in there. Easy stuff for FaZe. You're not really going to miss that one, are you? Quick nade to bounce it out because they know he's going to be around there. The flash goes out. That's going to be a kill for Vise already. Rambo picked off. And this round is falling apart for Freedom Gaming before it even began. Dennis gets himself another. Maxim with a quick reply. As they push on through, that works well. Kukon finds Vise and suddenly this B site is in their control. FaZe is going to be the man that's switching things up. He goes over to the AK and now he's coming from behind. Yeah, the bomb's going down, a 3v2, 40 seconds on the clock and now Flipside need to enter. Seven's gone first, he's taking damage but he's still finding fit. Reload's going to come in for Maxim and he needs to hold tight here but there is one coming round the back, it's FaZe. He's got to watch out for him, Maxim. Trying to hold those close angles, and he will do, but it's going to be FaZe who enters first. FaZe finds the kill on Kukon, and now 1v3 for Maxim. Not looking good. He's going to find one. Makes the turn. He spots maybe two there, and if he just holds on, he could have held out there, but the kill comes in, and Diffuse will follow. Nicely done there by Snox. These are good rounds for Flipside here. Picking up the defensive rounds is always 
Good, that's for sure. FaZe once again on the rotate, going around the world, coming through the backside and catching them off guard. And it's just that one-for-one -one trade. Now that's all he needs to do because he pulls the attention, as you saw, Maxim spin around. And then, of course, it drew his attention straight into a 2v1. No chance there. Early aggressive stuff. FaZe pops out the side, finds himself one. Almost got a second there. It was bot cons that he managed to chase down. And it gave Freedom Gaming some serious pause for thought. Rambo, of course, has been dominated, pushing through there, getting the freedom that he requires. But now he's had to change things up. Rambo with the bomb coming in behind. They've actually gone aggressive in the sub base, and they managed to get themselves through. But Snox and Dennis pick up the quick two. And now Rambo left with Kukon to push on through. I reckon they're going to go through vents. Are they going to try and drop in Sniper, or are they going to go straight towards B-site? For me, I would have thought they would have headed towards A. There's got fire there. going down. Faze is there. He gets the better of Kukon, and now one versus four. It's not going to get any better for Rambo. He might have been the man of the moment in the previous game, but he's been shut down here by Flipside in the last two rounds. Nine and two for Faze. What a great start in the first four rounds. Mm. Exactly what they needed. No aggression this time, though, but it is going to be a five-man stack for Freedom Gain. They're going fast and furious straight down in towards A site. Going to be charging around the corner. Good flash, good nade. That's going to be one, two for Snox. Will finally get taken down, but damage has been done. And now the rest of Flipside start to close in on the position. Seven backs himself away. He's got the AK. Now he's got the support of Dennis as they push back down into the A site. No heavy rotations either yet. Just the two players around the side. Faze coming off the sniper nest there. He's going to catch out Maxim. Maxim's going to go through vents, but the rotate from Freedom Gaming is on. They're starting to slowly claw their way back. Vi's covering off B-site. Rotate has come in. I'm just looking at that mini-map, actually, and the bomb is heading towards B, but the two players in charge, Bean and Maxim, are still lingering around A, and they, they kind of overcommitted to A, but they didn't pull out in time. This is a good fake, though, from Freedom. Like yeah. You can see two players coming in towards a site. Rambo with the bomb oh, all the way over on b site. So Bean and Maxim coming in here. Seven has got himself the angle around the corner, so he's going to pop out. He has the support that he needs. The open sniper, but he's going to get challenged out. That's going to be a push. And is that going to force the early rotate? Vice is not falling for it, you know. He's still sticking over towards b site here because Dennis is calling it out. It's like there's no bomb plant, but this is working well so far. And what was... A numbers advantage for Flipside has become an advantage for Freedom because they've just been challenged out in one-on-ones. But FaZe is still alive, and when he's alive, there's always a chance for Flipside. Yep, the bomb is going to go down. You're going to see now the Flipside players. Oh, they still think it's A. Look at this. They're pushing on A. They haven't read this situation at all, Flipside. They're pushing in, and they're going to they're going to run out of time. 30 seconds to go for the full rotate. They're just going to have to run and gun. Yep, now they've realized. Here they go, heading over, knife in hand. You're going to want to get out and get quickly across to the B side, there's only 20 seconds left and they need to make the kills now, they're entering fast, they need to, it's Maxim who's gonna try and take charge, he's got the cover, he's got the gun power, but now pinch from the side, it's one on one, he's coming in with the Deagle, he tries to find and chase, but nine seconds left on the clock, he might make the kill, but he's surely out of time. <laughs> oh, he's got no bullets, he's got no bullets, he's got nothing left. Rambo. <laughs> but that was a really good tactic from Freedom, they, I mean, the big sell was the fact that Maxim came in in two one-on-ones. I mean, he had support, but he was effectively one-on-ones and won out both of the one-on-ones. It completely sold the fake to flip side. And Rambo, all on his own, just goes into b side, plants the bomb, buys all the time in the world. And the fact is, you saw it on the mini-map, they had no clue. They were still pushing a side. They thought it was A, 100%, because they yep. sold the fake so well. So really well played from Freedom there, flip side. Not quite alert to what was going on, and the heroics of FaZe and Vice were not able to pull them back this time. Yeah, the clock sometimes it's your best friend, sometimes it's your worst enemy. But as we go into round number six here, Flipside wanting to extend their lead already here. 3-1 was the early lead, but closing down Freedom. One man who uh, has really started to turn up his FaZe, 10 kills already to his name. And he's been having this sniper battle alongside Rambo, not really head on with each other. But definitely doing damage for the squads. Bomb has just been dropped, but a 2-2-1 split here. No action here in the first minute, but seems very heavily locked down from flip side onto the A-bomb side. Yeah, Rambo looking for the picks on B site. It's forced the rotate from seven to come over. So we might be seeing a little peek around. Like you say, seven and phase have been uh, changing hands. Who's going to really take the sniper at the moment? Vice is the man that's in trouble because Rambo's coming his way. Is he going to check the corner? Sees him. Easy stuff. Quick scope there for Rambo. 
Gets the quick shot on towards him, and that opens up B-side completely. Now the surrounding phase. Phase gets himself one down. That's going to be Maxi, but he oh. can't deal with the second. And that will be easy stuff in the end. Dennis comes in and cleans up, though. Gets himself one on B, but now it's a three on two advantage for Freedom Gaming. We could be seeing a tie game here as the bomb will get planted on B-side. Yeah, the bomb. It will go down. They have the numerical advantage as well. It's all down to Snox and Dennis. And they've got full health and they can do something here. They need to work together, get that first early pick. And Snox is trying to get it. He's down to Kukon, but he reveals his position. He falls as well. And Dennis trades out. He finds the first. He finds the second. And now all on to the third. It's going to be Botcons. Botcons is on the rotate. He's coming behind him. Yeah, he won't have a chance there. Dennis not really where he was expecting. Botcons are gone around through mid. So 3-3. Three, three. All square right now, and there is music on in there. And you know why that is? So they can hear the uh, the Chinese announcer can be heard clearly in those boxes. So they've decided to put music up in those uh, boxes, so nothing can get filtered through. It's drowned out. Not that wise, obviously uh, uh, <laughs> the Germans or Vietnamese have much to say on the Chinese language. You never know. They could be uh, <laughs> the secret Mandarin speakers. Yeah, you, I mean, highly unlikely. Um, but anyway, back into the CFS game here. Flipside versus Freedom, a team or teams that have already matched up in this tournament. Flipside took that one 10 7 just yesterday, but Freedom looking to bite back as they go into round number seven, all even. And here we see a very similar setup to the previous round 2 2 split. Damage going down onto B, not too much though. That's coming from the frag of Snox. And over at the B side, you kind of hear some. Noise yeah. as well. Vise and Rambo unleashing a couple of shots back and forward once again. Vise pops, skipping in a jump. He's up against a very good sniper there. Rambo now realizing he's got the freedom. So Vise off the side, and that's where Rambo, remember, he caught him here last time. Gets a little glimpse, caught a glimpse of the shoe. We'll take the shot. Easy stuff. Vise shows himself, but there's FaZe in response. And now the support he needed was there. Botcon's going to come on through. Remember, FaZe, you can see him up high on the left-hand side. He's going to realize what's going on here. He's just got below Botcon's. Botcon's, is he going to check the corner? Oh, my. He's literally right below him there. I think he's he sees him seen through him. The, he sees him through the floor. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, he did indeed, and that Botcon's takes advantage. He finds the second as well. Now a 2v3. Seven could find himself in a lot of trouble as B may be able to drop down. B 5-1. He's going to drop and find seven, but no. He finally makes the turn, but it's a one versus three shortly to be a 1v2, and he has to find this defuse. Flashed up as well, disorientated as he comes into sight. He's not going to have the clearest vision, his ears ringing. What is Seven going to do here? He's only found himself two frags so far. Hop, skips, jumps, finds one, spins for the headshot there. Nice headshot in turn. He knows where the second is, finds the head! Brilliant stuff from Seven, just what he needed. The confidence boost for Flipside as they take it 4-3. And you could see there, coming in from Faze just on the end, I can't lip read, but he was definitely saying well done to seven. Fantastic 1v2 there and a defuse coming in and it just keeps them in the lead. They've been there since the start and they're staying there to remain, looking to go into the second half with a bit of an advantage. And they're playing on defense here, which is not the easiest task to do. And so base and straight away, FaZe, the man of the hour, has already picked off Kukon, four versus five. The start that flip side one in four rounds is already good on the defense. No doubt about that. We've got to see how their attack is going to be in a tense, tense game. Clearly, very evenly matched teams. There's no doubt about that one. Faze, obviously the standout performer so far for Flipside. 13 and 5 for him so far. And a different attacking pattern from Freedom this time around. They're not pushing. So Vise is, so far, not busy in his usual duel that he's had with Rambo. Rambo, you can see with the C4 making his way through. Is he going to slip on down? No, it's going to be an A hit. As they stack up around the corner right now, it would be a perfect time for Snox to toss one of those grenades out that he's been landing so well, bouncing them off the wall. He's going to get himself tucked in the corner. I never sold on this position mm. because you're basically in a face-to-face -face duel and your reactions are going to be slower than the guy that's going to pre-fire the corner. And we saw as well Seven. He came off worse on this challenge as well. Oh, but then he's got the peak. Better. Okay, so seven, Seven's giving the information. So now it's not a straight duel. Snox can pop out. He can get himself 40 kill and he will. Gets himself one and two. Vice comes around, gets the third, and now it's a three-on-one situation for Maxim at the top of the stairs. They know exactly where he is. Snox doesn't need to challenge this. He can took away. The bomb is there. No need to go for the peak, Snox. But he still does, and now Maxim has the bomb. Grenades coming in. That's going to take a lot of damage off Maxim as well. So, so weak here up against two of Flipside, and the rotate's going in. He did grab the bomb. He got out of there alive. Will Flipside 
recognize that as well. He's making a lot of noise here, but he's nowhere near the opponents. Heading over to the B bomb site. Two yes. versus one. It's going to be a retake. Seconds. They've got to realize, I mean, they're just going to sit here until the bomb plant goes in. They know, obviously, they're going to have plenty of time. So plant goes down. Any second now. There we go. Now they can start moving. They can look towards A. Yeah, through the window, realize where it is. So it's Vise and Dennis on the retake. Now, Maxim only really has one position to cover here. So it's possible. Gets a glimpse on Dennis. Can't land the shot. Does get the spray down. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one, but Vise has been covering this site all the time, so he knows his position, he knows the site, and he will get the defuse. And a fifth important round for Flipside there on the defense. They're going to come out on top no matter what now. So really impressive stuff here from Flipside. And it's honestly, it's been down to some pretty damn close rounds. This has not been a clean sweep by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, some real clutch plays there, and shout out to Vise. That was an incredible shot there, taking him off that power position. And now... Oh, aggressive stuff on point. B site. We can't, you can't see it, but we got the mini map in front of us. And uh, both Faze and Faze went aggressive, went a full sweep. Faze is actually out in the middle spawn area right now. He finds the shot and Botcons. That's completely caught him off guard. He would have no idea where that would have come from. Kukon though, they've got themselves in the vents through the side there. Dennis gets taken down, and now Rambo pushing forward. But look at Seven. Seven's got himself tucked in on the stairs while that smoke is holding. There's four members of Freedom Gaming just above him. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Seven really comes off, maybe with a multi-kill here. The reason being, this has not been performed by Flipside yet. They've always been defensive, and now they're taking the fight to them. We're going to see Freedom just rotating around, almost getting behind here. A flank coming in, actually, from Kukon on your screens right now. We can find a couple in the back, but that's these teammates under fire. He finds one. He could find the second. He oh. does. That is massive. And now a two, make it a 1v4 here for Snox as Kukon and Maxin cleans up the opponents. And I tell you what, 6-3 and 5-4, a completely different mindset going into the second half. But can Snox pull off a miracle play here? Yeah, misread, misread there from Vise and Faze on the retake. Didn't expect or just didn't simply clear the angles. Uh, one perfectly timed position in there. But Rambo going to push in. Snox, they know exactly where he is. He's tucked in the corner. It's a three on one, and he's just getting flashed out to death. No chance there. 5-4, first half for flip side. Certainly a very tense game, no doubt about it. And this one could go the distance. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this. 14 and 7, the end score there for FaZe. A lot of the damage was done in the first five rounds, remember. He'd already got, what, 10, 11 frags by then. So it took him a little time to get going towards the end there. But as it was, we saw some big moments from FaZe. Obviously, Dennis had his moment in there. Vise in that one-on-one. -on -one. Seven getting that double kill. And of course, alongside him, Snox holding out well over on a site. And Faze, well, the man of the moment so far, certainly for flip side. Now it's their turn to attack. What do they have in the bag as the game gets underway? The trophy they're all fighting for, but one of these teams will be going home at the end of this game. Okay, so back in the action here, and back on the attack. Will be flip side this time, so. We get to see how these guys play it out. And the first thing you're going to see is Rambo taking the top. He's going to find one. And there you go. Snox reveals his weapon and left arm. And Rambo doesn't miss those kind of shots. First blood once again. I reckon again. I could have got that, you know. I'm not sure if... <laughs> I don't think anyone would have missed that shot. That was that was I, pretty, I pretty close. <laughs> yeah, he's still twitching to the left. And it's like, oh, I missed. <laughs> Oops. Uh, as a player, that's something I would have probably missed. I would have crumbled under pressure. It, do console controllers move that quick? I don't think I, they do, I, do No, they? no. I, I think I would have been spinning around with a mouse. It wouldn't have helped me at all. But <laughs> you can see there, the AK's available. I'm sure he won't be picking that one up as Rambo. I mean, Rambo's holding this angle. Surely they're not going to, like, they know you're there, buddy. They're not going to come and challenge you a second time. It's not going to happen. It doesn't work that way. Or at least you'd hope not. <laughs> you'd hope not. As I see Dennis making his way there. Okay, he's not. He's going, he's going underneath. I thought he was going towards the vent. I was like, please don't do that. Don't be silly now. And they're actually going to group up, pushing right through the middle, which I'll tell you what, could be coming right behind the pack. That's Kukon. And there you go. One goes down. That's going to be Kukon himself. That's coming from Vise. Player, which is so much potential as well. And we're going to see another one. Seven's going to get in the action, but Rambo, he does change out for the AK, and Seven's going to trade things out, but a two versus two now. It's an awkward one as well, because look at FaZe. FaZe is FaZe completely offside at the moment, so Seven's effectively in a two-on-one, while FaZe... Tries to join it. They're going for the rotate. It's going to be an A site hit. So FaZe is going to get into site and take control of it. And he needs to be careful. There's one coming in sniper. It's going to be Maxim. 
comes across in Sniper. Rambo's going to be joining him. So a little peek there from FaZe. Just got the angle, but Maxim finds the shot. And now Seven in an awkward situation. He's going to go for the rotate back to B-side. 30 seconds on the clock. He's going to get the plan down, but he's going to be in a two-on-one once it goes down. This is going to be difficult for him. But he is going for the plant, and you'll see that there as it lights up red, 40 seconds on the clock, and you can see straight away, trying to make use of the grenades that he does have, but he doesn't have a clue which way they're coming from. And this could be a full rotate. Maybe he's looking for go for the peak. No, he'll have to head back because he doesn't want to give that map control up. 25 seconds left on the clock. I'd love to see it from his position, and this is it. As he does find one, he spotted Rambo already. He should be able to take him down, oh, damages him. He knows he has to go for it because the defuse was coming in. He had to have got that shot on Rambo. That, he should have should have made that kill. He's going to be kicking himself. It's going to be 5-5, five, five, all square here. And the first round of the defense goes to Freedom Gaming. That really was a difficult position. When it was a 2v2, it was inevitable. When it went from up two 1v1s, they teamed up. They buddied up. Oh, and you're going to see Rambo spot a couple hopping forward. It's Not phase. being able to take it. Phase answers back. And that's going to be the first kill. Yeah, FaZe knew what he was doing there. Skip past. He's like, well, if you don't take the chance, don't take that shot. I will take you down. And Rambo going down, that's a big player. Remember, he's the man that just won out that final kill in the 1v1 at the end there. But now, let's see what Flipside are going to do on the attack. They slow things down. No need to go aggressive. Just because you've got that one opening kill, they still have two minutes on the clock to work the angles. Look or any opening picks. Just a couple of shots rattled off, but not really finding anything more. Searching for something, some long range peek in there. I think it was FaZe. FaZe did get hit. Faze, I'm pretty sure FaZe got Yeah, he did, look. FaZe got hit, but he got away with it. That's the life of a sniper. Lucky for FaZe, as he does manage to uh, keep his life on this one. And you can see Bit of a slow push here. It is 5-5. It's all square as Snox finds another a 5v3. But you've got to remember, FaZe's health is very, very low. Yeah, Kukon all alone here on B-side. He's getting the support of Maxim now coming in. But he's going to have Dennis rotating around the back. They've not gone for it. They've backed away. They're going to go for A-site. They're trying to sell the dummy here. Again, sitting at the double doors, expecting something to come. Now they've grouped up. It's going to be a five-man hit. They're going to be rushing into a site, both at the same time. Bean and Maxim off to the side, just come around the corner. Who's going to come out on top of the duel? Dennis gets one, Vice gets the second, and now it's a 5v1, almost impossible situation for Kukon. And you go down to phase. It's a nice round there and a good rotate. The timing was on their side, but flip side reacted a little bit quicker there, actually as they bag number six. And again, just take the lead, but ever so slightly. It's not been a large margin in this game. I think the largest one was only two when it was 3-1 to flip side. This time, a bit heavier on the B side. You see the mini-map there highlighted. The bomb's just been dropped by number four, just behind them. Rambo's so lining up a shot. I don't know who number three is, but he's got to be careful. Okay, Rambo's made the move. It was uh, Dennis that was just challenging, just, just testing the waters, effectively, but not going to work out for them. Now they're making their way in towards the rooms at B site. Sweeping the corners, smoking it up, making sure they get themselves a clear entrance here. It's Botcons and Kukon holding off the site with Rambo offering sniper support. Now, he's just backed away. They've gone aggressive. Faze manages to catch Kukon out, and that's going to leave... Botcons all alone at the moment. Rambo is still not making the rotate. Now he's starting to come over. Botcons gets a peek around the corner, finds FaZe. That's going to slow things down because Flipside, again, testing the waters, come in, get themselves a frag, but back straight out, almost second-guessing themselves. And we saw we saw this a lot against um, Penta in the regionals. I do seem to recall the exact same sort of thing. They get the kill, but again, it doesn't look like... I think Vice. Vice is looking the opposite direction he was, and Botcons comes in, and suddenly it's a four and three advantage going Freedom's way. Yeah, and that's come from Botcons. He really has clawed his way back into this game. Single handedly picking up two. That's going to be Phase and Vice going down, but now gunfire over towards the middle. This is not going to go well for, for flip side unless they come out on top in the jewels, and somehow they did. It was a two for one and a 3v2 push there, and now the bomb will go down on the B side. And a two on two. You can see Bean on the rotate. Seven gets the plant in. Not a great deal of health for them, though. 
We're seeing the overview. I'd love to see the position of the uh, defensive side, Freedom Gaming, coming in, though, because they're pushing as a unit. So hopefully we'll get a view on that. It's going to be Maxim leading the charge. Yeah, Maxim does have been next to him. They can maybe put it on a 2v1, but already gunfire going down the police. Their location, Snox answers that, and Bean now has to go huge. A few gunfights, and Snox playing it wisely. Nice. The Snox went really peak. well there. Yeah, the shoulder peak left and right. He picked up the first, and he knew exactly where that second was. Didn't even need his teammate there, but he I think it was kills. three for Snox as well in the end there in that round. So I think you're right, yeah. Really, really big play, and obviously the closeout kills is more important than anything. Uh, let's see if FaZe, oh, challenging out against Rambo again. It's dual, but oh, we're not going to see it. I wish, really wish I'd stop going to that overview camera. And we get to see the dual as the little toe comes past of Dennis there, just trying to draw the fire of Rambo. Teasing him, teasing him here, going back and forth. But Rambo won't want to give this up too easily, and he'll be able to call that out to his teammates. But again, undecided of the bomb to push to here. And uh, rightly so, you know, you've got two minutes on the clock. Try for that first kill, that first frag. Grenades popping left and right here, and it looks like the first attack may go towards B. It's going to be Vise leading the way, but Bonkons has been so, so good in defending it. You saw him pick up two in the previous round. Can he do the same again? He might have just spotted FaZe there. Yeah, FaZe is holding the anger. That was nice. Nice play there. Vise is the man to draw the fire. He hops across, and FaZe comes in straight away to line the shot up. It's a really nice bit of play between these two. The old but bait and switch. Yeah, the bait and switch indeed. Didn't work out though. They didn't get the kill, so they decided to give up on that one. They've already managed to push themselves through double doors. Well, three of them have. And there's going to be a vents push here. It's FaZe that's going through the vents. And Rambo is just outside. Look in the sniper. You can see the x ray there. I think it's Bean that's up in the. Yes, it is. It's Bean that's up in sniper. And FaZe is about to drop through there. The, the tension's going to get drawn. So Bean gets a shot down on Snox. In comes FaZe, FaZe doesn't manage to get the kills. Maxim was expecting that, and now it's a real problem because Flipside are gonna get pincered in here by five members of Freedom. Yeah, the bomb may go down here, but it's gonna be very, very hard. It's gonna be even harder now. Vise has gone down, and this is where the rush comes in. The pinch comes in. It's gonna be Maxim closing in from behind as well. 2v5, surely won't end well. Making a 1v4 here, and for Dennis, he finds another. Can he find any more? He's actually survived a lot longer than I thought he would, but the double kill is not enough, not when there's five rushing at you. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was the pincer move they were trying to work. It baited, it, 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 didn't bait, it waited a lot on uh, FaZe to make it work coming out of vents there. But Maxim just held steady while they'd pushed down. They, had, they, they were happy to go for the passive retake on A site. And uh, that's how it went. So Rambo, this time choosing to go through vents. Fire in the hole. Trying the exact same as he did on the first attack of round. Just peeking around the corner. FaZe is directly below him, by the way, outside these vents. Yep, you do not want to drop straight into... Well, he won't drop down there, but he, they're like almost on top of each other, effectively on the directly. Mini -map. Yeah. yeah, I see what. Yeah, I'm looking at the mini map. Luckily, we get to see it. You guys at home don't have that, but we'll keep you up to date of course where they're heading, and where they're heading at the moment is towards that A site. You can see just crawling around the corner. Dennis Snox seven as well. The first gun fired is exchange, and that's coming in from Dennis here. But he's nicely spotted. Snox peeking in and out, and Rambo's coming out of vents. Rambo's coming out of vents. Now, Vice, Vice is going to find him. So Vice finds Rambo dropping out of vents. That's a big deal. Dennis gets in there. Now he can see Bean going to get challenged out. He pushes around the corner, but it's in a three on two. Oh, Cox picks up one, two. Kukon gets a third. And suddenly this has gone horribly wrong. But Snox gets the kill. And now Kukon in a two on one. They haven't planted for A. They're on the way to B. Yeah, this and is Kukon's a great all point. alone. The smoke actually is buying him time, but Kukon's figured it. Kukon's figured it. He's on the rotate. A smart play not to go for that plan. They now have full control of B. They can push it out. It's However, he does know. He knows exactly where they're going. And Kukon may catch them off guard here as Snox is planted in a very nice position. An open position. And Kukon has everything to do here. Yeah. They have themselves set up. Kukon might catch them in the back here. Gets around the side. Does manage to catch one. Almost gets a second. Snox. Oh, so, so close. Snox there. Oh, ho, ho. that 2v1 nearly went in their favor. But Flipside pick up the eighth round and are just two rounds away from the quarterfinals. Yeah, he puts Knox on one shot there, even though he was shooting at his teammate. 5v5. Now, as we refresh things and we go into the next round, Flipside, eight, Freedom, six. Of course, it's been another best of one. Playing for that second place in Group B. A rematch, if you like. Could end up with the same score. It was 10-7 last time. Wouldn't surprise me. 
to go the same way, but looks heavy on A at the moment. <coughs> Visor just ran over to B side, rattled a couple of shots off, just to distracting, if anything, trying to say, hey, we're over here, guys. And it's trying to draw their attention to B side. But there's no rotations coming from Freedom. They're sticking where they are. And you can see Flipside are setting up to make a push, but it's going to go straight mid this time instead and try and work their way through. They're stacking in vents. Phase leading the charge through vents, but it's... Is it Bot Cons? No, it's not. I can't see who it is. I think it's Maxim that's holding it. It was Bean. Bean gets taken down, but Rambo replies. Rambo's picked off now. It's a one-for-one one back exchange, and it's now three on three as they push on around the corner. Vizen in exchange. He goes down. FaZe gets picked up a kill. The Bot Cons not going to work out for him. FaZe comes out on top, as he has done so many times, and it's now match point. The flex from seven says it all. They are one step away from the quarterfinals against Hemo Brave. Well, it's do or die right now, and you can see that that one was clinical. It was close like many of the rounds here, going down to another 1v1. Well, this is the time that they can put it to bed. We've already got one player pushing forward. It's going to be phased, but we're watching Rambo at the moment. Now, Vise picked off close. by Kukon. That was over on B side. Vise has been the man, obviously, A defending on, on B quite often. Uh, but this time it's a full-on rush straight into A-site. They're trying to get in the stairs. It's not going to work out. Dennis gets a quick double. Rambo finally taken down. And now a three-on-three three as they push in. And that's to make it a three-on-two as Dennis gets a third of the round. Big important play from him there. We have Kukon and Rambo on the rotate. Rambo coming through stairwell. He's got Sno Snox waiting in the stairwell for him as Kukon tries to get some couple of picks off here. Dennis already picks himself up three, make it four. Can he turn the ace here as Rambo pushes down? It doesn't matter. Snox will take him down and flip side pick up victory 10 to 6. They will move through to the quarterfinals against Himo Brave. Well, they asserted their dominance on the first day against the Vietnamese squad, and it's no different here on day number two. Flip side 10, Freedom 6. And they will move on, as you said, D-Man, to that quarterfinal spot. You see the flex is coming in there. They're happy with the result and representing Europe, so they should be here. Excellent entry uh, from Dennis there on the final round. 11 frags for him in total. Three of them coming from that final round. Uh, four of them, sorry, coming from that yeah, final four. round. Really big plays from him. Solid stuff, though. You've got to give credit to Freedom Gaming. They certainly pushed flip side to the limit there while 10-6 was the score it doesn't really tell the tale it was a much much closer game and Rambo a real big thorn in their side Botcon's doing a great job over on B side as well but the tactical prowess the slow prodding process working well for flip side and now in the quarterfinals for them it's gonna be a tough old task because the Brazilians have looked impenetrable so far in this tournament at the Crossfire 2016 Grand Finals.